Thank you for joining us. In the last lesson, we learned how to use Fusion to find if a book is at the library and how to find the location of that item. We will now learn how to use the call number. In this lesson, we will focus on the Library of Congress classification scheme. You will learn the layout of a call number, how to navigate the stacks to get the general location of your book, and how to use the rules of LC to find the books in the library. The first thing we will cover is a layout of a call number. All items in the library have a label on the spine or on the front cover with the call number. The call number is composed of three parts, a location code, a class number, and holdings information. The location code lets you know which section of the library a book belongs to. For instance, in LC, we have an oversized section for books that are too big to fit on the regular shelf. You'll want to pay special attention to this location code when looking for items in the library, as these items are located on different floors than regular LC books. The second part of the call number is the class number. This is the main section you will use to find a book. It will include one to three letters in a number series, which is followed by a dot and a combination of letters and a varying amount of numbers. The first series of numbers is a code for what the book is about. The third section is the holdings information. This is usually the year the book was published or number for the volume or copy of the book. Now that you know the call number sections, you'll need to learn how to use that call number. When searching for a book, the first thing to do is to figure out which floor it is on. For LC, you should pay special attention to the location that Fusion gives you. LC is used on four floors of the library. The basement for periodicals, the first floor for browsing books, graphic novels, and audiobooks, and the second and third floors for our main collection. For any item other than main stacks, the catalog will tell you which floor it is on by including in parentheses at the end of the location information. If the item is listed as main stacks, you will need to determine which floor it is on. To do this, look at the first letters on the class number. If the letters fall alphabetically between A and LB, then it is on the second floor. If the letters are between LC and Z, the item will be on the third floor. After deciding which floor to go to, you will need to find the item in the stacks. We will focus on the shelves in the main stacks, as those are the most complex. The shelves are arranged so that as you stand in front of them, they move down the row, and then turn and start at the beginning of the next row. On each of the shelves is a range marker, which will tell you the class numbers included on those shelves. Use these to get the general area of the call number you need. Within a row, the shelves move from left to right, and then over and down, to start on the left side of the shelf below it. When you reach the bottom, it moves to a new section and starts at the top left. Now we need to employ the rules of LC. The most important rule that you need to know is that any number after the first dot is a decimal point. For example, this call number is not 11. It is .11. Therefore, when you are looking for it on the shelf, it will come before .2. Those are the basics for looking for a book using Library of Congress classification. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we will learn about using the Dewey Decimal System.